Luke, clearly not the start to the new year you were hoping for. No, not one bit. It wasn't the start to the game I was hoping for, let alone the new year. So, very disappointing. Undone again inside the first five minutes. You're chasing the game, but you turned it round. You had good possession, good quality, good control during the middle period. Yeah, exactly. And it's a, it's a horrible way to begin, to go behind like that. And then we bat battled back and uh, I thought going into the break, we looked like comfortable and that we would be we would be okay but we we fell into into traits that we've seen too often um, we stopped playing with the same intensity and concentration and uh, the opposition didn't they concentrate focus really really well I think uh, Rob Apter was incredible he destroyed us it was absolutely one of the best performances I've seen uh, for sure, he was outstanding and caused us endless problems and, and we couldn't cope with that. For your side, particularly in that first half, it was the balls in from the left again that provided the goals. Nice finish from Aaron and Macaulay's now got 20 again. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just a uh, very, very good delivery. Brilliant goal from uh, Aaron because the technique on that is outstanding. Maka, the typical poacher's goal that we love from Maka because it's far harder than it looks. And then uh, another handful of good opportunities, but we just lost the grip of the game because we didn't we didn't focus and have the same concentration. And then we start to become a bit emotional and out of control. And we're not we're just nowhere near the same threat when we like that. Do you think there'd have been a different outcome had you got them in at two one? Yeah, without without a doubt, I think it would have been. Uh, but um, they're, they're so they're so uh, well organised and so together. The opposition that, that that you have to really you have to pound them up into the into the ground to to get rid of them like because they're just they won't they're not soft they're not going to they're not going to give in that easily and uh, unfortunately they they won the battle of wills in the end. Seems every match we're talking about penalties now. I presume there were no problems with either of them today. No, no problems. Uh, tired leg from John, and then I think uh, Stoney probably better to go with his hands. I don't know exactly because I haven't watched it clearly back but um, yeah it's just really really disappointing and we're pushing so hard yeah, that we again we're, we're playing a bit out of control and the opposition can sense that and break forward with great pace and uh, then put us in a terrible position. In the midst of a defeat moments like the penalty save that he, that he did produce sort of get lost don't they? Yeah, they do. It's unfortunate because it's an incredible achievement for a goalkeeper to save a penalty. Because I think you know that it's heavily in the favour of the you know the, the the guy who's striking the ball. So it's brilliant. But yeah, we're just um, seeing a trait that we were hoping that we would move away from. Because I think three performances we played extremely high level football, and uh, today today we 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 fall back into uh, something that's too familiar where we start to play without the concentration and the focus and then we, we look vulnerable. They've given everything the last three matches, you've said so yourself, you went with the same 11 again, it looked like there were some heavy legs towards the end. Yeah, it did look like heavy legs, I think it's, it's unusual to disrupt a back line when they play really well and two clean sheets and then the attacking options, I think um, we don't have... Uh, too many with like experience we have quite a few young guys there and I think this was quite quite a good atmosphere today and a tough opposition very you know physically strong guys and uh, yeah I think I think we, we we didn't really have too many to come on to really to, to change it up but I thought James when he went on equipped himself brilliantly well so that was that was a positive that we can say not often during the course of a, an EFL season you get the chance to have a 12 or 13 day break that's what you've got now, I guess it comes at a good time, really. Yeah, I think so. I think we need to, uh, to uh, recover some tired bodies and uh, minds and uh, possibly we have some reinforcements coming in as well.